Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. It's been a little bit of time since I did the last one, but decided to take some time off for me and another little project that I'm working on. But this time, we're going to be starting uh, a different process within the channel. It's one I think you're, you're going to like. And without much further ado, we're going to be talking about how to use the Chromebook with your smart home. And yes, I did say Chromebook. Now, if you're like me, I'd heard a bit about the Chromebook, and I just went, well, do I, do I really want to fool with this and the more I thought about it the more it became apparent that it was definitely worth a look and I've got it right over here now we're not going to really power it up this time because I'm still working on some of the process but you know you can see if this is the 15 inch or let me get it back here a little bit and you can see it a little bit better this is the the 15 inch and it's the uh sorry let me get closer to the mic here it's the C523A. Now, the nice thing with this one is that this is 4 gigs of memory, which doesn't sound like a lot, but you really don't need a lot with the Chromebook. But more importantly, it's got 32 gigs of flash memory in it, so you can do quite a bit. Now, here's where it got interesting. I've been looking for something as an alternative to using my smartphone because let's face it i don't always want to be trying to do something with it because small screen and if you've got fingers like mine it's not exactly the easiest thing to type on and i'd been looking at the chromebooks and i you know i'd love to try a pixel hey google you want to send me one to look at i won't say no but when you're looking you know 900 to a thousand dollars or better it just was hard to justify so i got to looking a little bit and was the chromebook a good idea and here's why it is. Initially, it was just pretty much a, a web browser only. Well, over the past year, Google's been making some interesting changes, and this is where it starts to make a lot of sense. Depending on the model you've got, and I've got a link in the show notes that go over how that, that how to look for the different models, but they've started rolling out support for Android apps. So you can just using the Google Play Store to get things to where it's almost like your smartphone, but without the cellular piece of it. So you know, this gives you a little bit better idea of, of what I'm looking at. And this is the one I got now. I will tell you up front, I do have a link in the uh, show notes for this. But please look in other areas. And, and here's why. I found this for a just a, I was like $206 at Office Depot. And I thought, well, do I really need it? And I just kind of went back and forth and several things swayed me. So I've got the link here. So if you can't find a better price, because right now Amazon is a better price than Office Depot. The, the sale price that I was watching before I could get the video done went back up to the, it was like $270. So if you want one right away and don't have Amazon Prime, trust me, if you don't have Amazon Prime, you you want to. Uh, this is certainly an option. And you see here, I've got Honey installed. There's a way you can save $20 on top of that. So it's just a matter of do some looking around. I mean, while I'd appreciate if you use the affiliate link I've got, please, I'm more concerned about you having the right or getting the best price you can. Now, having said that, let's look at two things you really, really need to have to, to make this very useful for your smart home. Now, you're going to see several things that I'll have in here from, well, let me get it over here where you can see it a little bit better, from Anchor. Now, this is USB-C, which is what you're going to have to have for the Chromebook. Now, this is an Ethernet adapter. It's, it's a 10, 100 gig. So it's, there are times when you may need a wired connection, and I try to use a wired connection when I can, although wireless is, is okay, but there's times I simply like to be on a wired connection. Say wireless is acting up. With this little adapter, and we're talking a little over $20, then you now have an option of getting the Chromebook a wired connection because out of the box, I don't know of one, and there may be some out there, but that's the whole idea with making it as a light a footprint as possible to not have a wired connection. But this is like $25 dongle. So, I mean, to me, this is one of those no-brainer deals. Get one of those. Well worth it. The other thing is only the only 
Chromebooks I've seen that can hook up to an HDMI monitor are the little bit of the higher end ones. Now, there may be exceptions, but the ones I was seeing did not have HDMI output. And then your challenge is going to be, it's probably going to be the HDI mini, which means you're going to have to buy, okay, you know this one's coming, yet another cable. But again, from Anchor, and Anchor did not send me these things. I went out and bought them on Amazon myself. Here is the Anchor uh, USB hub. I call it more of an adapter because here's why. Okay, you've got two USB 3.0 ports, and you can tell they're the 3.0s because they're the blue color. If they were black, they'd be USB 2.0. And then on this side, you've got, let's see, let me look. Okay, here's your HDMI, and then you've got SD card and micro SD. So you've got, can I get that? There we go. Now you can see a little bit better. So you've got a, a very handy adapter. So from one thing now, you can hook it up to a monitor, and both of these items do not require any configuration, no loading of drivers. They simply work. And, and if you've been in IT as long as I have, the fact you don't have to, do, to download drivers, that you don't have to do any tweaking, it simply works. And if you're used to having a multiple display configuration in Windows, Putting this on will very much feel the same. You just drag which monitor you want to be primary. If you want to mirror it, you can mirror it. So this is, you know, getting these two options. Oh, here, let me get back here a little bit. Getting these two options will be definitely something you'll want to have for your Chromebook. And then they, with the USB adapter from Anchor, they do give you this nice little pouch to kind of help keep this from getting uh, tore up too much and it's it's solidly built uh i love it it's so this is you know now that you've kind of seen the foundation that i've built here's why the chromebook is really an ideal add-on to your smart home number one anything that you have in your smart home now that has a web browser in it is going to this is going to work now granted it comes with the chrome browser and i've just had this a few days so i haven't looked a whole lot to see what other browsers are out there but so far chrome has generally worked anytime i've tried now it never hurts to have alternate browsers okay so having said that some of the android apps you may find may not work and i've already run into one that doesn't so here i want to help you and will actually help each other in the process if you would like to think about a chromebook if you want to reach out to me and let me know what android apps you're using to manage your smart home i'm more than glad to try them on the chromebook because what i'll do is i'll do a video on each one listing out okay this is how i got to work or this is the problem i went into and there are some of them that won't work now what will happen if they do work they'll either work natively or you may find that the app gets kind of stretched a little bit depending on how it was written but now here's the beauty of the chromebook it's an ideal travel device for me so i can sit there and you know very little overhead because i normally carry my macbook with me when i travel but with the chromebook now i've got something that's very light i'm doing more with uh, the google apps like spreadsheet and doc so everything's starting to be more into the cloud for me the I've, I've already done some testing with one vpn client so that is certainly an option we're going to look at i'm going to try a whole range of things to see what we can do and if you have anything you'd like me to look at please let me know i'll be glad to make a video on that one because i want to help you Avoid maybe some pitfalls along the way, and certainly it's going to be a learning process for both of it. I'm the one who will be making a lot of the investment, so you don't have to go buy a Chromebook unless you want to. Now, as to what Chromebook you want to use, there is a link in the show notes to a specific page on chromium.org, which is where the, the Chrome project is based from, or at least has information from it. That will give you a list of the Chromebooks that currently have support for Android apps, and for, uh, I'll call it a Linux shell. I'm, I'm still kind of getting my hands wrapped around that one. So I'm not going to talk a whole lot about that one at this point. But the main thing is, is uh, Android app support. Not all of the 
Chromebooks will have that. I almost picked up a Chromebook and a grand it was going to be like a 10 inch display for a hundred dollars. Well, I probably would have bought the wrong one because I didn't find this list until uh, just before I bought the, the Asus uh, Chromebook that I've got and Asus did not supply me with one. I bought that on my own. So, you know, if you find one you like, just make sure if you really want it to run the Android apps that it is on that list. Now, some of them have support today. Some of them will be getting support and some of them may never have support. So if using the Android apps is important, please make sure that that's something that you go through that list. And, it's, and that list should be getting updated periodically as the changes are made to it. So that's kind of where we're standing at this point. I'll be doing more videos on how to use the Chromebook to help manage your smart home. And there's, there's so many possibilities I can see. So I, I want to us both have some fun as we go through this journey. Thank you for everyone who's been subscribing to the channel. Please make sure that you grab this checklist. This will be something that will help you as you get the different devices in your smart home that you can keep track of the passwords and the security questions and the security answers so that you can have that available as well. Right now, at the time of recording this video, we're a little over 1,500 subscribers. Thank you for everybody who has uh, subscribed and stayed with me through the process. I'm really anxious to see how the Chromebook turns out because there's, I think, a lot of potential for this. And, you know, it's one less hard drive that I have to worry about, which is, is nice. The flash storage is still a little bit on the pricey side compared to what you would find for your you know, conventional hard drives. But for an ultra portable option, you I don't think you can really go wrong with a Chromebook. There will be some adjustments you may have to make with some of the apps, but you know, nothing is, is uncertain and it, uh, no, without guarantee. So that's, uh, I think going to be very interesting. Thank you for watching the video. You will see a series of videos here of other things you can look at within the series I've been doing on creating your own smart home. Thank you very much for watching the videos and Look forward to seeing you in the next one.